Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino, post-market report. I don't know if you can see me. There's something seriously whacked out here. Um, I think you can hear me. I hope you can see me. Um, actually, maybe not, because I look really ghastly as of late. I don't know what it is. But anyway, um, let's talk. Post-market, uh, <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, March uh, 26th, 2024. March 26th, yeah. January, February, March? Yeah, I'm all screwed up. Anyway, listen, um, I want to clarify a few things here. It looks like I got a bunch of you, um, I don't know the right word here, um, anxious, nervous, or, or whatever. The video that I did this morning, I outlined for all of you what, what I believe, what I believe are the steps you need to be taking now considering the current environment that we are in. Now, this really did rattle some of you. I don't know why that is. And I, I sat here all day trying to contemplate what it was about that video that got some of you kind of rattled. Look, what do we what do we know, people? We know that this environment, first of all, it's like nothing we've ever seen before. Terrified, why? Anyway, anyway look, I got that. We have the most twisted, sick, twisted, upside down, inside out thing uh, in the history of the world. And, and that's really, I mean, it's not just the financial markets. This is almost like a cancer that is, it, it's an invasive thing uh, around the entire world. But especially here in the United States, the environment, the environment is so toxic. People are at each other's throats here. Uh, it looks like a nation that is really on the verge of civil war. And of course, that's what they want here. We've covered this a million times. They, they, they those that control the power, uh, and it ain't presidents, kings, queens, monarchs, or dictators. What they're trying to do is put people against each other. And they want a violent protest. They want to incite one so they can suck more of our liberties and freedoms. Use, use that as, as an excuse to take more things away from us. And, and, the, and the scary part of that is, and you know this already, people are already surrendering. They're already surrendering because they want to be taken care of. They want to compete. So what do we know again is going on? What do we know? It always comes down to what we know. We are in a transitionary phase between uh, what once was and what is now. And that is a neo-feudal system, extreme haves, extreme have-nots, the wealthy getting more wealthy than they've ever been in the history of the world. And you know the middle class paying for it all as they always do as they get shoved down to the lower rung of society. I get that. And with the, with regard to the markets, and I'm not when I say markets, all right, I, I am encompassing the entire thing, the entire spectrum of assets, which is pretty much every freaking thing, and soon to be human life as well, which is going to be reduced to a derivative and traded on the open market. You think I'm wrong on that one? You got another thing coming. They're going to figure out a way. Believe me to digitalize or digitize everything, uh, everything. And it's going to be traded on the open market here. It's, it, it's, it's really sick what we're witnessing here. Some might say it's biblical. Maybe it is. I mean, it's, it's really just out there, uh, yet to be defined. But anyway, when this morning, okay, when I was outlining the steps that people should be taking here to get themselves on the right side of this, some of the feedback I got, um, you know, look, no one trusts the market. I got that. Um, you don't trust Bitcoin. I got that. There are a lot of people who despise gold and silver and and repeat, even today. I don't know how many people keep telling me, Greg, you're wrong about gold and silver. You're wrong about commodities. Let me say this too. All right. When I come out here every day, twice a day for all of you, I put these things together in what I really feel is right. Okay, now this is where you have to come into. Now, a lot of you, most of you here, connect with me and my perspective, and, and it's our thing. Again, this is not just something that is mine, it's what we, we created together, it's, it's huge. It's a huge thing, it's a global family, and I, I think we all care about each other, and all that stuff is important. And there, But there are some people that, Either they're they're not real, they're trolls, they're bots. I don't know what it is, okay? But again, keep in mind that there are people out here that watch my work, I imagine, that 
feel that I am completely wrong on on this entire thing. And that's okay too. They need to find someone else that they connect with. That's right. You know, look, uh, I don't know everything. And when I pre, when I'll tell you what bothers me about this. When I ask these people, hey, all right, look, present your own argument. Convince me that what I am saying is wrong. I, I rarely, rarely get an answer. And I hate it when people post things and they don't they don't back it up with something. Again, I am not too old to learn a new trick. You understand? Anyway, what this comes down to here is understanding the situation. That's all we do. You and I, we talk about it and we we try to contemplate what the most likely outcome is going to be. And what is that then? For years, years, people, years, you and I have been way, way ahead of the curve. People calling for market crashes every other day, poking at, pointing at dates and times, and we, they've been all wrong. Uh, I don't know what they're trying to do, these kind of people. Maybe they're trying to you know, garner clicks or whatever. It's a shame because people have missed out, and they're going to continue to, going back to this morning's video, because they can't recognize opportunity. That's all I do when I try to say, okay, everyone, what can we, where can we place ourselves trying to put this entire thing into perspective where we will be in the best place? And not just financially either, people. What do I tell you every Friday? Love each other, care about each other, be charitable, be nice to each other here. You know what I mean? I mean, this is a family. Anyway, look, um, I didn't mean to rattle anyone. What And most of you really got a lot out of the video I did this morning. I think it was one of the most important videos I've ever done. That's honestly the truth. If you have not seen the video I did this morning, I would urge you to see it and maybe read through some of the comments. And like some of them, you know, people just, they're afraid. And I get that. Fear is a paralyzing thing. Okay. This is why you got the propaganda ministry, the false flags, the whatever it is, uh, the distractions, the deceptions, the look here, don't look over there. Once they can make you afraid of anything, I don't care if they can make you afraid of a rock, okay? This is a piece of Moldavite, by the way. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Make you afraid of, of, of anything. All of a sudden, not only do you become paralyzed, you can't act, but you become mind controlled. You have to stop that. And I know that I'm preaching to the choir. People here get it. All of you get it. And we, what we're doing is trying to, again, come up with the most likely scenario moving forward. Now, you know, the title of this video, the just we have if you expect that what we have seen right now is the end all. In other words, the distortions that exist across the spectrum of asset classes with regard to the environment we are in, the twisting, the psyops. If you think this is over today now and all of a sudden things are going to turn great, well, you 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 I'm sorry, you're very mistaken. We I don't think in my view, okay, and this I don't, I don't know how you want to put this, what perspective you want to put this into, but this this is going to get much worse, much, much worse. And, and the deceptions are going to get much worse, The all of this. So you and I need to keep our head on straight. We need to have no fear, okay? Fear, as I said just a minute ago, is a paralyzing thing. You understand? I think most of you get what I'm talking about here. Anyway, um... I hope that kind of straightens things out. When I'm talking about looking at, let's say, commodities, a lot of people thought I was wrong. Okay, uh, I've been I've been talking about commodities for years. How eventually the risk on game is going to turn risk off. It should make sense to you. Okay, if I say something to you in in these video blogs, and at first maybe it doesn't make sense to think about it for a while. What we have here is an engineered environment of risk on, and it's going to get much more dramatic. Central banks, Fed, ECB in lockstep are going to be cutting rates. And with this easy money, easy money, let me put another perspective on easy money for you. When a central bank cuts rates, they're, what it's doing is, and by design, is it, it kills the currency. It kills the purchasing power of the currency as well, not just via the mechanism of creating digits on a screen to buy more debt. Um but it devalues the currency. If if we had a higher rate environment, first of all, the money would hit money. The cash would be worth more. That's what it comes really down to. And it, it would it wouldn't foster this illusion that we have had 
all the way up until now. Of, uh, and, and the market illusion is huge. You know that what's going on here with the presidential selection cycle, the propping up this entire thing. People are living in fantasy land right now. This is they're they're literally sitting, standing, playing around on the deck of the Titanic. And I'm not just saying here in the United States. This is a global phenomenon. You understand? But people are being misled on a grand scale that is just so hard to get your head around. Uh, and they're being set up. They're being set up for a a great fall. Um, this was maybe the, the title of a, a few videos that I have done. I hope I'm getting through to some of you out here. And, and I, I really believe that I am. Anyway, look, let's just, I wanted to get all this out here because sometimes when I read through the comments, I start thinking, okay, well, what did I say wrong? Um, maybe I could try to explain this to people and maybe another way. And what I do is I try to break this down here into its most simple you know, uh, the most simple way I can come up with. Um, so it's easy to understand. This stuff isn't rocket scientist at all. It's not rocket science, right? This just is, it's a mechanism of understanding how cash moves through the markets. It's, it moves in predictable patterns. Um, and as a person who analyzes this stuff around the clock, I mean, maybe it just seems over, over simple to me. You understand? But uh, I hope it's, making it through to you too as well. Anyway, so what this means is opportunity. Again, the ability to recognize opportunity and then having no fear to act on it. But but there are such things as over-investing in whatever it might be. I mean, look, you know my favorite asset on this planet? Here it is, okay. Um, and if you only can invest in one thing, that's it. Um, in my opinion, if you have the ability to be Invested in a wide variety of assets. Quite frankly, that's how I am. Um, it's a good thing. It's oh, it, it'll help you sleep at night. You have to worry because again, risk on is going to turn risk off. We know that we're taking advantage of everything we can while we can. We're watching the drivers of this market. We understand what central banks are doing. This whole thing is a game, and nothing, nothing, nothing is what it appears to be. And, I think most of you get it. All right. Anyway, with that, let's just cover the market real quick. Really nothing. All right. We had the major averages under some pressure today. Bitcoin, crypto is falling under a little pressure as well. Uh, silver falling under some pressure. Gold relatively flat. Crude oil. It was really a nothing day today, honestly. The market is pricing in what's going on. I think more and more uh, participants of this market uh, are, are understanding where this is going to go here and how absolutely out of control. And I can't, I can't underscore that enough either, how absolutely out of control this is going to get. And it's, 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 it's deliberate. This whole thing, big, fat, ugly bubbles are turning into a nightmare, um, on, on an incredible scale here. Um, fear of missing out or whatever it might be. You understand? I, th I think most of you get it. And, um, anyway, with that said, um, I, that's another thing. Uh, I'm getting accused of not giving all of you enough time to um, ask some questions. So I'm going to open the floor up to you again. Uh, oh, Greg, you're not answering my questions. People, look, I'm trying my best out here. I probably don't see your question in this live thing. Otherwise, I'd answer you. Believe me, it goes by pretty quickly, and sometimes I can't focus too well. But um, – you know, uh, so again, he, this is for you, Goldstein. Yes, I saw it. Anacot, Anacot Silver, that's new. Uh, if there is such a thing as Anacot Silver, uh, Goldstein, I would say <laughs> I would say I have to jump all over that. Um, anyway, um, let's see here. One of the most important is that yes, Axiom Curb. You look, this is you see this guy here. This is the tr a truth of truths here. We are each other's greatest assets. It, it, and, and that's why I want this whole thing to come together. I hate it so much when I see people arguing with each other. We all have something to learn from each other. If you think you're smarter than anybody else, I can promise you that you're the stupidest person in the room. We got to bring this together. That's all I want to do. I create a community where people uh, are good to each other. Is that really too much to ask? What happens to Chris crypto if Biden gets selected? Well, keep buying it, man. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, you know, I, I I don't know another way to put this here. With regard to the crypto space, it's it's such a small part of the overall scheme of things. The entire market cap of cryptocurrencies, put them all in one pile. You're looking at the value of one DAO component. It's very small space here. Uh, in my view, again, 
debt market meltdown, puts enormous pressure on the stock market, risk on, turns risk off, cash will go into commodities, cryptocurrencies, and into other things as well. That's, I think that's the ultimate scenario. I can't imagine it going another way here, honestly. Timing, you know, it is about timing, but it's also about staying ahead of the curve, having the ability to act on what you what you are believing um, after, you know, look, don't just conjure this stuff out of your head. When I come out here and I say, okay, I believe this is going to happen. I believe that's going to happen. It's after a lot of work, a lot of research, a lot of pondering the dynamics that are, are currently in play. And also, honestly, filling in gaps. What are we doing, you and me? We're playing a game of incomplete information. There's no way we can know everything. No one knows everything except God. You understand? So you and I have to take in every bit of information that we can, and it's not an easy task, and then say, and then start to fill in gaps with what the most likely outcome is going to be. Uh, it, it's not difficult. That's what you know, look. A guy like me, if I were to work for like a major bank or something, I, I, I would be making a multi-million dollar salary. There's just no doubt about it. Um, people like me who analyze this stuff to this degree, they're they're kind of a rare a rare bird in in my view people who can get, who have the patience the time and maybe the insanity to sit back and analyze this stuff to the degree that I believe that I do and all of you do too as well anyway um learn to repair things learn to you know that's really good that you mentioned that too you know I, I I've talked about education here as well and people with unfortunately useless college degrees Unless you're going for something specific, doctor, nurse, lawyer, whatever. So, you know, it's very difficult. You know, trade school, I I think it's um I think it's what, what people need to be be doing. Learn a trade. And because you're gonna need it. When this thing comes down, let me explain this to you maybe another way here. This is gonna come apart, and I mean come apart on a scale that people are not going to believe. They're not going to believe it's all being set up. Okay. We're going to need to rebuild this thing. The people that are left here are going to need to rebuild what's left. And if you think a, a war zone is, um, maybe it could be described something like that, because we're going to get pandemonium in the streets around the world. And if, I, I, I really hope you're, you're on board with me with that here, because that's where we're going. This is being set up by design, a complete meltdown of the system, only to issue in a new one of maximum control. People surrendering themselves to this thing. It's a horrible, horrible in end game scenario there are not you people like you guys and me we're the exception to the rule here you understand i hope you do we're not like most others henceforth why you know like i always say people who lick toilet bowls people who eat tide pods they got millions and millions and millions of subscribers me i got what about a quarter a quarter of a million do you see what i'm talking about here it's uh is that is that a control it really really is all right um I think we're going to call it here. Um, PDBC was on my list. Okay. I did put out a new list of exchange traded funds for people uh, who want to get exposure to commodities. Check your, if you subscribe to my free newsletter, you got this. It's not a complete list, but it's the list of the top ones. I got your back people. I really, really do. And I, I really feel like you know, I'm working hard here for all of you so we can stay ahead of the curve. Anyway, that's that's pretty much it. All right, look, this video is getting kind of long. I want to thank you for being here. I really wish we had more people here. Um, those thumbs up, please, people. Let's improve that. 372, that makes me feel kind of bad. All right, let's 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 improve that. Let's get this video out there. Let's um, let people hear this stuff. Please comment. Get this stuff out there. Uh, on your social media uh, networks here. Discuss this stuff with people. And again, this isn't a doom and gloom thing, okay? This isn't about fear. This is about taking action, okay? I understand it's it's scary sometimes to, to do something, but you got to do something in this environment. You can't just sit back and suck your thumbs. You must be doing something here. All right, people, look, this guy here from the heart, I love all of you. You're awesome. Thank you for those thumbs up. Thank you for your support, your friendship, your love. I will see all of you in the morning as usual. We got this. We freaking got this. Count on it. I'll see you tomorrow.